Welcome back everybody. Today on the sawmill I've got a little elm. It's uh, 16 inch on the big end, 14 on the little end. Uh, we're going to be sawing some four quarter lumber out of this. Um, let's get started. I've got the log rotated to where I think the best opening face is the first one I'm cutting off of here. What I'm doing is cutting a slab off to where the opening face hopefully is about six inches wide. So after I make the next cut, the board that I get can be edged to a one by five at least, but hopefully a one by six. Somewhere between now and the time that I raise the head up at the end of this cut, I need to tell the set works where the blade is in height by pushing a button. When you push the button, the set works remembers that height as the home height. From there forward, any dimensions that you use from the top down are based on that home height. So now I've told the set works to drop four quarters. So it's lowered the head one inch plus the thickness of the blade kerf. Now we've got our first fletch cut, we can put it on the loader arms to be edged up later. It was in the upper 20s this morning and is now only about 40 degrees. So the engine is running cold, so it's running a little rough, and the hydraulics are thick, so they're running a little extra slow. Uh, that causes the pump motor to run a higher amperage, which puts more load on the alternator which turns around and loads the engine when it's at idle, so it's not running very well. But we get the log cut, turn 90 degrees, and set for the next slab cut. I'm sure everybody remembers what I said about having to hit the home button after I cut the slab off for the first time. Well, after you rotate the log, if the log isn't perfectly round, the height changes, so then you have to set the home button yet again on the second side. And with the motor running rough and everything, I forgot to push the button, but forgot that I forgot to push the button. So now the saw has dropped the inch plus the kerf based on the first side of the log and not the second side of the log and you can't really tell it looked a little big but once it got cut and i could tell that it was like an inch and a half or maybe even two inches that it had dropped so i stopped stopped the blade and backed out of the cut so then i remember oh yeah i didn't reset the blade height for the home button so then I go back to the top of the log reset it back up drop four quarters and begin again luckily I was only about eight inches in the cut when I got it stopped Now we've got our second fletch cut. 
which actually only needs to be edged on the one side. We'll put it on the loader till we get done with everything else. Now we're going to get the log rolled for the third face. Boy, the hydraulics sure are running slow. It's right about here you've got to really remember to put that far tow board down or you'll mess up a cut. This time we did remember to store the top of the log height so that when we drop, we drop the correct amount. But in the picture right here, you can see on the left side the cut that's eight inches deep. Eventually I saw that cut that's on the left and it's actually about seven eighths of an inch instead of four full quarters. I'm taking this board off because it's a hundred percent sapwood on the outside face. Um, what I'm trying to do is get the cant down to where it has a good variation of sapwood and heartwood, the light and the dark mixed in a single board. Uh, once we get that, then we can saw down to the pith. Now we got it squared into a cant in the original opening face turned up we're going to start 
milling four quarter boards off. Uh, these are going to be four quarter by eight by eight foot. Um, we're going to saw down on it till we get close to the pith, and then we'll flip it and saw from the other side. You may not be able to tell just yet, but this is sawing out some pretty nice looking boards, I think. Um, I'll give you a good chance to look at them at the end of the video. Now that we got the cant worked up, it's time to get the flitch cuts back on the mill and sawed up. I like to arrange them where I can make as few of cuts as possible and yield the most amount of lumber without a very large amount of waste. That one fletch cut is not going to make an eight footer no matter how narrow we edge it up, but it will make a nice six footer 
in a one by five. We got five one by eights off of that little log, a one by six, a few one by fives. Pretty good looking stuff for Elm. I'm gonna throw some water on it. We'll see what it looks like. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you want to leave a comment, do that as well.